Hi everyone, let's see a detailed analysis on today's quantitative aptitude section of SSC CGL. See here, I'll say a topic and I'll explain what type of questions they asked. Okay, first profit, loss and discount. In this topic, they asked the questions on based on one formula which is mark price by cost price equals 100 minus discount 100 plus or minus profit or loss based on this formula they ask the questions and one more type of questions like there are three people if A sold to the B at 20 percentage profit or some article B sold it at loss of 10 percentage they have given the value at A bought the means cost price of A they given let's say for example 3000 they asked what is the cost price for C you can do this kind of problems and one more is dishonest shopkeeper dishonest shopkeeper so what is the profit percentage formula we know that error value divided by given value multiplied by 100 so this is the profit percentage right remember this formula and the next topic is circle in the circle concept they asked the type of questions like direct common tangent and uh, transverse common tangent means length of the direct common tangent transverse common tangent formulas remember and also they asked like if this is a circle if two tangents are drawn and uh, if they have given this value and they asked us this value we know that if this is 2 theta this is nothing but 180 minus 2 theta right so this is the relation between these two angles if if we join this line what is the value of this here it is nothing but theta okay remember this kind of problems and one more is if in a circle they have given lengths of two what is the two chords and they have given the distance between them these two chords they asked us to find the radius of the circle this can be done by triplets okay uh, you can do simply by triplets and the next concept is allegation concept like um, they have given percentage of means a uh, percentage of boys let's say for example 20 percentage percentage of girls past percentage let's say 35 percentage they are given the overall percentage they asked us to find the boys girls ratio okay this kind of allegation problems and one more thing is they asked race concept okay race concept like in a circle if two people are running in same direction the first question they asked is when will they meet for the first time when will they meet for the first time length of the racetrack divided by relative speed right okay and the next question is when will they meet again at the starting point when will they meet again at the starting point length of the track divided by hcf of speeds okay and this kind of race problems and one more thing trigonometry in trigonometry make sure you read the all the identities like uh, sin square theta plus cos square theta those kind of identities and also if two angles sum is 90 degrees what is the value it might become for sin square theta sin square a plus sin square b this kind of identities and make sure also basic ratios like tan theta equals sin by cos secant theta equals 1 by cos because if you know this kind of ratios means basic ratios you can solve the problems easily okay and the next concept is time speed and distance we did many problems right policeman and thief they are asking the same questions like that they are giving the distance between police and thief and they are giving them speed of the police and uh, speed of the thief they are simply asking the time taken by the police to catch the thief okay this kind of and one more is uh, let's say for example train speed is x kilometer per hour and there is a bridge here let's say 200 meters bridge if if this x meter per train speed train means uh, travels this 200 meters bridge in let's say for example 20 seconds and is also given another scenario same train if it causes a person traveling in same direction with a speed let's say 6 kilometer per hour in 15 seconds or so they asked us to find the speed of the train which is x kilometer per they asked us to find the x value okay this kind of problems don't forget 
and one more thing main algebra they are, they are asking like giving x plus 1 by x value and they are asking us to find x power 5 plus 1 by x power 5 and x cube minus 1 by x cube make sure you read all the formulas like uh, if they are given x plus 1 by x how to find the x plus x cube minus 1 by x cube all these formulas okay and main basic formulas which are like a plus b whole cube formula or a cube plus b cube formula and also a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc formulas make sure you read these formulas before going to exam because they are asking based on these formulas also and some questions they ask divisibility rules okay divisibility rules don't forget to see the divisibility rules and and also in mensuration mensuration make sure you read the go the formulas like volume of cone formula or uh, volume of cylinder formula and also uh, volume of uh, spheres make sure you read those formulas before going to the exam and also in percentages topic they asked about coins problems okay like a uh, 2 rupees denomination 2 rupees denomination 5 rupees denomination uh, 50 paisa denomination they are giving the total amount value and they ask us to find the number of coins okay this type of problems and also don't forget for the proportions means first proportion how to find the first proportion and uh, second proportion okay third proportion this kind of problems also they are asking in the examination and make sure like one more topics like um, income expenditure savings okay like uh, if income is increased by 30 percentage and expenditure is also increased by 10 percentage they asked how much percentage savings increase this kind of problems and in this today in CGL this examination data interpretation they are asking good questions so make sure you practice data interpretation questions and simple interest and compound interest so i did not see compound interest uh, form problems but make sure you know the simple interest problems like installment we discussed the previous problem means previous video in that we discussed installment problems and don't forget this formula simple interest prime principal rate of interest time by 100 so make sure you do the all the simple interest problems means uh, based on this formula and one more is ages topic in ages topics they are asking like if a mother's and daughter age before 7 years a particular ratio they are giving let's say for example 3 is to 5 and after 4 years they are giving the ratio 2 is to 3 they are asking present values and and they are asking the ratio of after means a mother says after 3 years and daughter says after 5 years like that those kind of ratios they are asking make sure you do the problems and remember this identity arithmetic mean greater than equals to zoometric mean greater than equals to harmonic mean based on this identity they are asking the problems ok and averages concept when it comes to averages concept like uh, in January month we have 31 days like they are giving 16 days temperature and first 16 and they are giving last 16 temperature they are asking the middle value means which are asking the 16th day what is the temperature ok and make sure you know the formulas for equilateral triangle area uh, right angle scale and triangle right angle scale and triangle and mainly make sure effective percentage because when you know the when you know how to calculate effective percentage you can do most of the problems ok make sure you see uh, before going to the exam this kind of problems and uh, you can do the exam so I hope you all the best for the next 